to me, there is no other vision conference or vision get together you can attend where you understand both technology and business. What's unique about the Summit program is its focus on the practical aspects of building products and building businesses using vision. So on the technical side, for example, we have real experts presenting their insights on how to build products using vision technology. And on the business side, we have executives who have built businesses using vision, talking about the opportunities, the trends, and the challenges. I, it's the one conference that I, I really, really look forward to because it's always like right in the wheelhouse of what I'm thinking about. And then as we've grown into new products, it's like the, the Alliance is thinking about the exact same thing. So the people I meet at these conferences are all trying to solve the same problems I'm trying to solve. I'm particularly here this time for the demos, even more so, because I'm looking for certain technologies. I'm doing things in robotics and I'm looking for certain things. Who's doing what? Who's got what? So for 2017 at the summit, there's going to be some really exciting new content about efficient implementation of deep learning to enable uh, product developers to get the power of deep learning implemented in cost-constrained, power-constrained systems. We're also going to have significant new content on 3D techniques and on trade-offs among different types of 3D sensing, whether it's time of flight, structured light, stereoscopic vision, or otherwise. Well, for the most recent summit, I would say the most valuable uh, information or the most valuable aspect of the summit was the information about how deep learning is really making strides in the embedded world um, and seeing what technologies are coming. So I'm looking forward to this next summit to find out how much closer those technologies are to be in reality. One recent market study looked at hardware and software for computer vision and found it to be growing at about 33% per year and forecast that it'll reach about $50 billion by the year 2022. I've seen in the past year over $2 billion in acquisitions of companies making vision hardware and software and over $200 million in venture investments in startups making vision hardware and software. Why am I at a computer vision uh, conference? Well, computer vision to me is one of the key bridging technologies between computing systems and the physical world. I was learning stuff all through the keynote and the rest of the presentations. I honestly think this is the most focused industry event for embedded vision anywhere. I mean, you can go on the web, you can go through contacts and so on, but you can come to this one show and meet just about everybody you need to meet if you're trying to do something in the world of vision. Look, just go to the, to the exhibit hall, which is really small. It's not miles and miles of area like other shows, but really very concentrated. Dozens of companies that are really, really concentrated on making products. And clearly we're, we're meeting a need that these folks have because when we look at the surveys that the attendees fill out, 98% of them say they would recommend the event to a colleague. I'm leaving more motivated. I can't wait to go back to work to figure out, okay, I just saw this awesome demo from company X, you know, what can I do and, and what can my company do to, to match that? So I'm excited. I hope you'll join me and more than a thousand other engineers, business leaders, developers, and entrepreneurs. See you in Santa Clara.